Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Maths with Maths. Today in this video, I am solving the GATE 2021 problem of numerical analysis. This is the complete solution video. So let's start the video and before starting the solution of this video, I am requesting all those who are new in my channel, please like the video, comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and subscribe the channel. And in case numerical analysis is an very weightage topic for GATE 2021, the weightage for GATE exam, the numerical analysis is a good subject. So don't skip this subject. So let's start the video. Question number 8 says that consider the fixed point xn plus 1 equal to phi of xn. So we first use the definition for fixed point that is phi x equal to x. This gives the fixed point with phi x equal to this and initial approximation x0 equal to 3.25 the order of convergence for the fixed point iteration method is. So we first find the fixed point for this iteration and for this function. So phi x equal to x gives 3 plus x minus 3 whole cube equal to x. So this gives x minus 3 whole cube equal to x minus 3 and which is clearly gives x equal to 3 is the root of this equation. So now we use here a concept. The concept says that if for mth order convergence for mth order convergence we must have the phi dash xi where xi is the root of this equation is equal to 0 phi double dash that is second derivative of the function phi at the root is equal to 0 and so on and m m minus 1 is derivative at the root is equal to 0 but the m -th root for this phi function at the root is not equal to 0 now we need to check in which derivative at the root that is at x equal to 3 the phi x is non vanish for which terms of this derivative. So phi x equal to give here phi x equal to 3 plus x minus 3 whole cube. Now we find phi dash x is equal to 3 into x minus 3 the root is x equal to 3 equal to xi this is the root for this equation so this is equal to whole square so this is equal to 0 at x equal to or xi equal to uh, 3 now phi double dash x that is the second derivative is equal to 6 into x minus 3 this is equal to also 0 at this x equal to 3 or xi equal to 3 since I use the variable x here so put it as x. Now the third order derivative phi triple dash x equal to 6 simply which is not equal to 0 at x equal to 3. So here it noted that the third order derivative for this root of this phi function is non vanishing that is not equal to 0. Therefore according to this concept this is the order of convergence. So here so the third order derivative non vanishing therefore the order of convergence for this method should be 3 therefore c is the correct answer so next question is question number 21 let fx equal to x to the power 4 plus 2x cube minus 11x square minus 12x plus 36 for x belongs to r the order of convergence for the newton reaction method this is the scheme for newton reaction iteration method with x0 equal to 2.1 and the root is alpha equal to 2 this is the clear root mentioned here for the equation fx equal to 0 so here a concept is used which is that if root is of multiplicity for newton reaction method if the root is of multiplicity multiplicity 1 then order of convergence is equal to 2 and if the root is of multiplicity 2 then the order of convergence is 1 here so we need to check simply for this root alpha equal to 2 it is simple root that is a root of multiplicity 1 or a root of multiplicity 2 based on this 
multiplicity the order of convergence of Newton Raspberry method is to be find for this problem. So now we find the fx equal to given here the function fx equal to given fx equal to x to the power 4 plus 2x cube minus 11x square minus 12x plus 36 x belongs to r now here is a concept similar concept as the above if xi is a multiple root sorry if xi is the multiple multiple root of multiplicity m then we have this is the concept for multiple root we have f at xi where xi is the root equal to f dash xi equal to and so on f m minus 1 th xi this is equal to 0 but similar concept as above f to the power m that is m th order derivative at the root that is xi is not equal to 0. So we need to check here for the function fx at the root alpha equal to 2 here alpha equal to 2 you can I can use here I use here xi same concept no problem there. So we need to check whether this function derivative of this function is not equal to 0 for the root alpha so we check now f dash x equal to given here f dash x f x equal to given uh, x to the power 4 so 4 x cube plus 6 x square minus 22 x minus 12 this is first order derivative and at the root x equal to alpha that is 2 we need to check this whether vanish or not so f dash 2 equal to 8 and uh, this gives 32 plus 4 and 6 that 24 minus uh, 22 to the 44 minus 12 so this is equal to put to the 6 and 5 56 plus minus sorry 6 minus 6 and 5 so this is equal to 0 yes so it is not multiplicity 1 therefore now we check for alpha equal to 2 alpha equal to 2 and f double dash x equal to so f double dash x equal to gives 12 x square plus uh, 12 x minus 22 so at f double dash 2 this is equal to Mm, 4 12 the 48 plus 12 into 2 24 minus 22 which is equal to 58 plus this gives 48 plus 2 and this is equal to 50 so this is equal to non-zero therefore the root is of multiplicity 2 here therefore if the root is of multiplicity 2 then what is the order of convergence the order of convergence is 1 so for this problem the order of convergence is 1 here so it is the correct answer so next question is so next question is if the video is helpful to you then don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends so next question question number 22 question number 22 says that px equal to this is an polynomial interpolates the data this and then we need to find alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta equal to what now the definition of interpolating polynomial is says that if px is a polynomial is called interpolating polynomial if the value of px and or if certain order derivative the value of px and or its certain order derivative is coincide with the function fx 
this fx its value at some points or its derivative at some points and its derivative are coincide then px is called the interpolating polynomial for fx therefore for interpolating polynomial px is approximately equal to fx so we can use this data set for px also this is the concept this is the main concept here so here it is given now first we put p at minus 2 is equal to 2 here it is the px so p at minus 2 equal to 2 gives alpha plus beta put minus 2 here so this gives 0 this also gives 0 since x plus 2 present here this is also gives 0 so alpha plus all 0 equal to 2 so this simply gives alpha equal to 2 here now put the value of alpha the px is px is equal to 2 plus beta into x plus 2 plus gamma into x plus 2 x plus 1 plus delta into x plus 2 x plus 1 and x so now we use the second point at x equal to minus 1 fx that is px is equal to minus 1 that is p minus 1 equal to minus 1 therefore p of minus 1 equal to minus 1 gives 2 plus beta into minus 1 plus 2 this is x plus 1 here so if we put x equal to minus 1 then these terms will vanish and similarly for x plus 1 is present here so this term also vanish so this is equal to minus 1 so this implies 2 minus beta equal to sorry 2 plus beta equal to minus 1 so this gives beta equal to minus 3 so we get the value of alpha and beta so put the value of beta and in px so px equal to 2 plus minus 3 into x plus 2 plus gamma into x plus 2 plus x plus 1 plus delta into x plus 2 x plus 1 and x so this is now we use the third point that is 0 at x equal to 0 fx equal to 8 so that means p at 0 equal to 8 so this gives 2 plus sorry 2 minus 2 minus 3 into x minus x put at x equal to 0 so this gives uh, 2 so 3 into 2 that is i write 6 3 into minus 2 6 plus gamma into 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 1 that means 2 into 1 that means 2 so this gives 2 gamma plus x equal to 0 put here so this gives also term is 0 this is equal to 8 so this implies 2 gamma equal to 8 8 plus 6 minus 2 so this equal to 12 so this implies gamma equal to 6 here so we also get the value of gamma now the only value we have to find is the value of delta so we use at x equal to 1 fx equal to 5 and before then we put the value of uh, gamma here at px so from this px equal to 2 minus 3 into x plus 2 plus 6 into x plus 2 the value of gamma put it here x plus 2 into x plus 1 plus delta into x plus 2 into x plus 1 into x now we use 1 at x equal to 1 px equal to 5 so p1 equal to 5 so this gives 2 minus 3 into 1 plus 2 plus 6 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 1 plus delta into 1 plus 2 1 plus 1 into 1 equal to 5 so this gives uh, 2 minus 9 6 uh, 3 into 2 6 6 6 the 36 
प्लस थ्री इंटू सिक्स तो थ्री इंटू टू सिक्स डेल्टा इक्वल टू फाइव सो दिस इज इक्वल इम्प्लाइज थर्टी एट माइनस नाइन ट्वेंटी नाइन प्लस सिक्स डेल्टा इक्वल टू फाइव एंड दिस गिव्स दिस गिव्स डेल्टा इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी नाइन माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर बाई सिक्स दिस गिव्स माइनस फोर सो द वैल्यू ऑफ डेल्टा शुड बी माइनस फोर तो डेल्टा इक्वल टू माइनस फोर गामा इक्वल टू सिक्स बीटा इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री एंड अल्फा इक्वल टू टू देर फोर अल्फा प्लस बीटा प्लस गामा प्लस डेल्टा इक्वल टू टू माइनस थ्री वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा माइनस थ्री गामा सिक्स एंड डेल्टा माइनस फोर सो प्लस सिक्स माइनस फोर सो दिस इज इक्वल टू सिक्स प्लस टू एट माइनस फोर थ्री जो सेवन दिस इज इक्वल टू वन सो दे फोर वन इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम सो If the video is helpful, then please give a like to this video, subscribe the channel, and share with your friends. So the next problem is question number thirty-one. The initial value problem dy dx equal to a for ty t greater than zero, y zero equal to one, or a ty equal to minus y is solved for the following Euler method. The Euler method derivation scheme is given here. This. With the step size h, then y tends to y n tends to zero as n tends to infinity. So first, it is noted that y zero equal to one. That means y zero equal to one. That means at this is dependent on t. Therefore, at t equal to zero, y should be one. This is the first initial iteration given. So the iteration scheme is here. Y n plus one. So if we put a n equal to zero, therefore this gives y one equal to y zero plus h into f of what is it? T n. That means t zero and y zero. And the value of f is given here minus ten y. So this is equal to y zero means one. So one plus h into f at t zero y zero means minus ten y zero. So this is equal to minus ten into y zero. That means minus ten y zero means one here. So this is equal to minus ten into this means my one. So minus ten. So this is equal to one minus ten h. This is the value of y one. Now Find the value of y two equal to the put the value of n equal to one here. This gives y one plus h into f of sorry h into f of t one and y one. Now the value of f is independent of t. Therefore, we don't need the value of t zero t one and so on to find the function f. So this is equal to y1. The value of y1 should be 1 minus 10h plus h into the value of y1. This is minus 10 into y1, and the value of y1 is 1 minus 10h. So minus 10 into 1 minus 10h. This. So take common 1 minus 10h and find this from 1. Also here minus ten h, so this is equal to one minus ten h whole square. So for this we get y two equal to this. Therefore now we find the value of y three also. Y three equal to y two plus h f of t two and y two. This implies one minus ten h whole square plus h into the value of this y two means minus ten into y two. If value of f is minus ten y, that is here minus ten into y two. So minus ten into y two value means this one minus ten h whole square. So this is equal to take common one minus ten h whole square. And one minus ten h. So this is also one minus 
10 is equal to the power q therefore for 3 the power should be 3 therefore the if the calculation is so on then we find what we find uh, n equal to 1 for n equal to 0 y1 y1 means 1 minus 10 is y2 means 1 minus 10 is square y3 means this so the general iteration is yn equal to 1 minus 10 h that will be the power n n or n minus 1 i think it should be n okay right so now it is given that the then yn tends to 0 at n tends to infinity therefore at n tends to infinity this term should be goes to 0 now from the concept of limit this term tends to 0 when when this term should be less than 1 therefore 1 minus 10 h should be less than 1 the mod you can take also modulus of this of this tends to 1 so now we check the intervals the first interval is h from 0 to 2 now if we put one value of h here so if we put any value between 0 to 0 0.2 if we put can we get this term is less than 1 then it should be the answer so suppose they put 0 0.19 so this gives 1 minus 10 into 0 0.19 this is equal to 1 minus uh, 0.19 into 10 what is it 1.19 so no 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 this is one suppose one minute just 0 0.19 1 minus 10 into 0.19 uh, this gives this is gives minus 9 by 10 and if we take modulus then this should be less than 1 therefore uh, for this interval the value should be you can check any value in this interval also you can take any value for 0 0.1 this is equal to 10 into 0 0.2 which is less equal to 1 you can say so less equal to 1 huh? less equal to 1 so you can check any value from this interval so for this interval we get the value this is less than 1 then this should yn tends to 0 for n tends to infinity therefore this is the correct answer the first one is the correct answer and other options are wrong answer. you can check with the options no problem so go to the next question the question number 53 says that the quadrature formula integration 0 to 2 x fx is, uh, near approximate to alpha f0 plus beta f1 plus gamma f2 is exact for all polynomial of delta degree less equal to 2 therefore any polynomial of degree less equal to 2 is exact for this polynomial then the find the value of this we need to find the value of beta and gamma then put it here so you can take any polynomial of degree less equal to 2 um, for calculations is to be easy uh, i take here 1 0 degree polynomial x 1 degree polynomial and x 2 degree polynomial let us check with these three polynomials so fx therefore when fx equal to 1 the value of alpha right side should be alpha plus beta plus gamma which is equal to integration 0 to 2 left side uh, x into fx that is x dx which gives x square by 2 and 4 by 2 which gives the value is 2 therefore the value of alpha plus beta plus gamma this is equal to 2 this is an equation suppose take it 1 then for fx equal to x we have fx equal to x uh, f0 means 0 f1 means 1 f2 means 2 so alpha means 0 uh, beta plus 2 gamma this is equal to integration 0 to 2 fx equal to x put it here so x square dx x cube by 3 
and which gives 8 by 3. So, this is an equation beta plus 2 gamma is equal to 8 by 3. Equation number 2 I named as and then put fx equal to x square. Then the right side gives x square f0 at 0, 0, 1 in 1 and f2 means 4. So, beta plus 4 gamma this gives. So, this gives beta plus 4 gamma is equal to integration 0 to 2 x fx means x cube dx this gives x to the power 4 by 4 that means 2 to the power 4 by 4 and this is equal to thing 4 4 this is 4 therefore beta plus 4 gamma is equal to 4 this is equation number 3 now we need the value of beta and gamma therefore the equation number 1 is not necessary for this calculation now we subtract equation number 3 minus 2 gives uh, 4 beta minus 2 beta this gives 2 beta equal to 4 minus 8 by 3 which is equal to 12 minus 8 so 4 by 3 and this is equal to beta equal to 2 by 3 so the value of beta should be 2 by 3 now put the value of beta with any any equation so beta plus 2 gamma uh, put in the equation number 2 beta plus 2 gamma so 2 by 3 plus 2 gamma is equal to 8 by 3 8 by 3 yes 8 by 3 so this is equal to 2 gamma equal to 8 by 3 minus 2 by 3 which is equal to uh, what is it 6 by 3 6 by 3 sorry this is the value of gamma sorry 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 i make made a mistake this is the value of gamma to gamma this is the value of gamma so it should be gamma gamma equal to this so let's keep this part So gamma equal to to get sorry 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 extremely sorry so gamma equal to 2 by 3 therefore beta put the value beta plus put equation number 2 put uh, put in equation number 2 beta plus 2 gamma means 4 by 3 so beta plus 4 by 3 equal to 8 by 3 so this gives beta equal to 8 by 3 minus 4 by 3 this equal to 4 by 3 so here 2 beta minus gamma need therefore we need not we don't need the value of alpha therefore 2 beta minus gamma equal to so 2 beta minus gamma equal to 2 beta means uh, this is 8 by 3 minus gamma means 2 by 3 so this is equal to 6 by 3 and which gives the value 2 therefore 2 beta minus gamma is equal to 2 this is the answer so thank you friends if the video is helpful for you then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel so thank you friends